tutorial on how to play a rose by Eminem. We're in standard tuning, there's no capo. I'll be teaching you the two chord progressions that are played throughout the entire song and the chords that go along with us. We're gonna start out here with the chords. So if you already know how to play the chords, you can go ahead and skip ahead. We've got a C chord, we've got a G chord, we've got an A minor chord, and an E minor chord. Okay, so we're gonna start out here with our E minor chord. You're gonna have your middle finger on the second fret of the A string, ring finger on the second fret of the D. That's how your typical E minor is played. For this E minor chord, we're gonna have our index on our second fret of the D, middle fingers on the second fret of the A, and we're gonna have our pinky on the third fret of the B. So it's a slight variation in the E minor chord there. For A minor, our index is on the first fret of the B, middle fingers on the second fret of the D, ring fingers on the second fret of the G. You can play your fifth string down. C chord, you're just gonna slide your ring finger up to the uh, third fret of the A string. Your C chord, so you have our C, A minor, E minor, and our G, you're gonna have your ring finger on the third fret of the high E, middle fingers on the third fret of the low E, and your index is on the second fret of the A string. Play all six strings. So those are the chords we're working with here. We're gonna start out by picking the A, G, B, and the E strings on our C chord, or you can strum it. Once you strum or pick, you're gonna pick this E chord continuously for three more. So it sounds like one, two, three, four. Then we're gonna go to this A minor chord with our pinky on the um, third fret of the B. We're gonna strum that or pick it. And now you're gonna pick your B string instead of your E string. Two, three, four. So putting those first two together. And then we're gonna to go to our A minor chord, pick the same strings or strum them. And continue picking the B string. On the A minor, we're gonna only pick two, three, and then we're gonna put our pinky back on the third fret of the B string. So that sounds like one, two, three, put your pinky on four, and then we're gonna come back to our C. Two, three, four. So that's the first progression. So I'm gonna walk through that nice and slow here. We're on our C, one, two, three, four, E minor, one, two, a minor, one, two, three, add your pinky, four, C. One more time, one, two, three, four, E minor, one, two, three, four, A minor, two, three, pinky, four, C. And then jump back into it. So the second part is the part that sounds like this, it's gonna go one. Um, so you're gonna transition out of that C chord, right? So this is the end of the first progression. So one, two, three, four, and then it goes to the G. Two, three, four, to an A minor. One, two, three, four, stay on your A minor. One, two, three, add your pinky to your C. back to the uh, E minor. Two, three, add your pinky to your C. And then the second progression is this G. So you're picking or strumming your G chord. One, two, high E string is being picked. Four, A minor. Two, three, four, stay on your A minor. Two, Add your pinky, C, two, three, four, and then it's back to the beginning. So there's two different progressions. The one is the G, two, three, four. You stay on the A minor for two, two, three, four, one more time. Two, three, add your pinky, C. And then the other one is your C, two, three, four, E minor, two, three, four, A minor, two, three, add your 
raise your pinky into the C. So those are the two progressions that are played throughout the entire song. Um, that's all I'm going to be doing in this tutorial. If you have questions, go ahead and comment below. If you'd like to see more tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.